English. Three, William Tell. Three, William Tell. Reading. This short play has been adapted from Killer William Tell. The Swiss regard William Tell as their national hero. It tells us about William Tell's encounter with Jessler, the governor of Eldorf. Character William Tell, known far and wide as a brave man, a great hunter and an excellent shooter. Walter, the brave son of William Tell. Jessler, a cruel, vain man who wanted his subjects to worship him. He passed harsh laws, some of which were funny. Scene 1 Jessler once placed his hat on a high pole by the roadside and ordered all his subjects to bow before it. The Swiss were brave and proud. They thought it ridiculous to bow before a hat. Not a single Swiss went past the road where the pole was fixed. So no one ever bowed to the hat because no one ever passed it. One morning, William Tell came into town with his son named Walter. He had not heard of this strange law. So holding his son's hand, he came near the pole. Stop! I say stop! What's the matter? Why didn't you bow before the hat of your master? Loves Bowing before a hat? What's this nonsense? Better to remove that hat from the pole and return it to Jessler. It is treason not to salute the hat. For this, we can arrest you. What's the matter? This man is not ready to bow before your hat, sir. Becomes angry. What's your name? William Tell. So, you are William Tell? The finest shooter in the country? I will give you a test. If you pass it, you shall go free. Moves toward Walter. Are you William Tell's son? Proudly. Yes, I yeah. am. Chesler dragged the boy to an oak tree placed an apple on his head and turned to William Tell. Hit the apple with your arrow and prove to me what a great marksman you are. William Tell was speechless. The soldiers were also horrified. How can I shoot at my son? William Tell's son gazed at his father with love and trust in his eyes. Dad, shoot dad. I am not afraid. I know you can't miss the mark. Come on, shoot. Dad, at the apple. William Tell had no choice. He took out two arrows. He put one in his belt and he strung the other to his bow. He took aim and shot. The apple split into two. Walter came running into the waiting arms of his father and they clung to each other. Clap! What a wonderful shoot! Men will talk of that for years to come. By heaven, the apple was shot through the center. I must praise your skill. Now allow us to go home. Before you go, answer my question. Ask. Why did you take out two arrows? Why did you put the second arrow in your belt? That is our custom forever. No, I am not convinced. Tell me the truth. I promise you your life. Then listen. The second arrow was for your heart. If the first arrow had hurt my son, I would have used the second arrow. Shooting freshly. Says him. Says him. He will pass the rest of his life in a prison. William Tell saw the soldiers coming towards him. He became alert. 
He aimed at the heart of Jessler and sent the arrow that he had put in his belt. Hail tell, we are free. The tyrant is dead. Long live liberty.